Arrogant and condescending, Rowan Baxter only cared about one person, himself. Just months before the 42-year-old committed a murderous act of domestic violence, he had no issue with belittling his wife in front of police. That your vehicle's actually currently reg recorded its cancelled registration. Why is this your vehicle or mine? This body cam footage released at a coronial inquiry shows an unapologetic man aggressively blaming Ms Clark when he was caught doing the wrong thing. Oh, don't talk to me about it because it's your car. But this wasn't the only interaction the pair had with police in the lead up to the horrific day he set his family alight inside their car. The court heard that in December 2019, after the couple separated, Baxter forcefully snatched his daughter Layana off the street and drove her to New South Wales, refusing to return her. Ms Clark was frantic and screaming for him to stop. One bystander who saw it all unfold told the coroner she was so certain she'd witnessed a kidnapping, she rushed to tell police. Something didn't sit right with me. I just had a sense in myself that something horrible was going on. A child protection investigator told the court the four-year-old was recovered by police three days later, but no charges were laid. What he did was disgusting and inappropriate, and he did it with the prime focus to cause harm to Hannah. But unfortunately, it wasn't a crime. The court heard because there were no family court or child protection orders in place, what Baxter did wasn't illegal and therefore he couldn't be arrested. But his actions were considered to be violent enough that he was issued with a domestic violence order. This order which restricted him from seeing his children is what he blamed for his unforgivable actions. A rambling note he left in his phone was released in full by the coroner. It contained cruel and unfounded criticisms of Ms Clark, painting himself as the victim. Sergeant Harris told the court the note was clearly written by someone not of sane mind, someone who was looking for an out and wouldn't take responsibility for his own wrongdoing. He said Hannah Clark, however, was a woman trapped, living in an oppressive regime. The inquest will continue next week. Talissa Saganto, ABC News, Brisbane.